Letter from God Number 3 The Letter from Band of the Present To the Present Now Futured from God As Channel by Celest and David To the Future Residents of My Earth Star Planet I lovingly address you in this manner. For many, many of you who have heeded my words over these long, tumultuous years, shall remain here as my constant gardeners. I wish to welcome you and bid you greetings. Many of you who are reading this have chosen the path less traveled. For most it has been rocky and rough almost every step of your journey. I have asked that this, my current message be posted so that all can read it and perhaps be in awe of their own potential to be my bidding. Think on that for a bit. Many decades past, I sent my messengers out to your planet in full force wearing their god regalia, to aid and assist in the transitionary process of birthing the golden era once again. To them I said, be mindful of your tasks. Remember all my universal laws and do not tread upon others' choices of free expression. These ones on earth are children in the youngness level of their races, and they are not as evolved spiritually and intellectually as are you. Yet on all levels they to recognize their right to be, to thrive, to flourish and to expand upon their own consciousness level. Each will do so at their own pace. No degree of pushing or prodding will hasten the pace. As you all know, my universe is always on time, each in its proper order of ascension. When you, the present future children of planet Earth come to full realization of who and what your purposes are, then shall come the realization of the greater truths of all of creation. For far too long you have lived in the dark ages. It is now time to come into the light and shine as brightly as the day you were created. Since the time that humans lost their humanity, they have all too easily given away their personal power points to egregious people. Some of these dastardly types are human, some are not, yet each has an agenda to destroy my Earth star races. I have not brought you into existence to merely sit back, have a coke, smoke a cigar and watch you children be destroyed. The Creator, the Creation and all the other gods of the other omnipresent universes are aligned with my goal to re-educate those who weaken and let go and let God those others. Tell me, are you familiar with the term I will is my will? Who do you think is thy and who is my? Answer incorrectly and I shall beat you. It's a God thing. Each of you has special DNA encoding that is unique to only you. Together with the rest of your soul groups you will find the missing pieces to the puzzle you term life. As each awakens and begins to remember that knowledge is to be shared with all the others of your group. Don't be stingy but definitely be discerning. This way, as mass consciousness, you shall all rise to the challenges at hand, for you will no longer carry the fear nor the doubts of the importance of each and every one of you. Long before time became linear as a means of governing your lives, you all knew this. Linear time was designed as a way to regulate your actions. Without it you would have stumbled and fell as your civilizations started to evolve. That time is no longer needed nor necessary. As many of you are aware linear time is dissipating, many feel it as an acceleration. The acceleration is definitely being noticed what you are not yet sensing is the evaporation of time. I can't do these things you know, 
die away did the linear phases of the civilizations here responding slash reacting to karmic implications of the now unfolding phase of the other golden age and have been quite pleased to know that so many of you hear me back and remember 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 those who are aware are able to expand time to suit their beauties of the day and also speed it up that will it is by this process and so many more that you will find yourselves getting a 12-hour workday done in only four hours this a lots more free time for your personal growth and discovery I ask you now to please remember your connectedness to all that island each is the integral part of the whole Nothing omitted. Nothing left out. No thing excluded. There was a time when each was aware of the union between man and spirit, how one was an expression of the other. There is not the mode of energy anywhere that is not connected to the greater whole. As each of you ascends to your rightful places amongst the stars, you shall be welcomed and asked to participate in all decisions that affect the ongoings of this part of the galaxy. For each affects the whole, for each is an integral part. I shall take under advisement all that is offered as suggestions. That does not mean I will act upon them all. Oh, the wonders you shall behold, the beauty you shall see, my other children await you with open arms and a loving embrace. They, at my request, have held off personally making contact with much of your major populations, due to your inabilities to comprehend and truly realize the greater realities which are different from all that you have been taught by pompous learned civilian teachers here. All that was known before your temporary amnesia shall be known again. All that was characterized by religious zealots and political mishmash as untruths, shall make their presence known to each of you not as mass hallucinations but as sacred truisms. George Bush, eat your heart out. Do not think that old George, either of them, has not fulfilled a valuable function here. They are teaching you what evil is, in this sense, they were unnecessary evil. Please note my emphasis on the word word. My other children from off-world civilizations do not readily appear to those here in their natural forms. They do not wish to alarm naive thousands and start mass hysteria reactions among the unbelieving. Unfortunately this has always been the reaction from my irrational and unknowing populations of the Earth star planet. Each of the present unknowing children will have their turn to realize the realities without condemnation, as your mass consciousness raises to a level of acceptance. Far too many of you still believe you are the only intelligent life forms. This is just not so. There are species of life in my oceans that far exceed your levels of understanding. They too are there to help stabilize an otherwise destructive course of events that would inevitably occur if you were left to your own devices. As the future unfolds in the not so distant future, you will see for yourselves that you were never alone. It was only your intellects which kept you from knowing this. That and those humans and the others who pander to the dark agenda. In the present now of today, it is on a much grander scale that many of you are coming into the light and are seeing more clearly, sensing things you once thought impossible or imaginary. The veils of illusion are being lifted from your eyes and the knowledge of the truth is freeing you from the bonds that were placed upon you, many that were of your own making. You have much to look forward to as the dawning of the new age for mankind settles in all around you, and for you. 
many still need clarification about all that they are experiencing. I ask that you trust your instincts, for instinct is a direct connection to your soul. When you doubt, you open up the doorways that allow fear and even more doubts to enter your being. Trust only that what you sense to be true. We, my other children and I are with you every step of the way. There will be tests that must be passed, in order for each of you to continue your spiraling of poor journey. These tests are designed to check the substance of your beliefs and more importantly, the faith you must have in yourself. At any time you may ask is this a test? And you will be answered in one form or another. Always be mindful of the signs. Illusions will be cast in front of you. Learn to know and trust your instincts to accurately discern the difference in the two. Illusions will come in disguises. Let your hearts show you the way. By surrounding yourself in the light of God you will keep these illusions at bay and more easily discern the truth. Now I shall take my leave of you. Your test for this lesson is to speak to God. Then quiet your minds and listen for the answer. So many of my children talk to me each and every moment. I answer them all. If you would but only listen. I bid you farewell. Know that I am merrily the thought away. God. Channel by. Celest and David. Email. Admin at Godgementary.com. Website. www.godgementary.com. Until next time we leave you with a thought of our own. The destination is well worth the journey. God's new book, Beyond the Veil, Epiphanies from God. God's first book, and then God said. Then I said. Then he said. For more information go to rainbowproducts.awakenhearts.com